Some for the people, man. Some for the people. Some for the people, man. Do you think Andrew Schultz has changed uh, the way stand up is going to be done moving forward? I've never even really seen a lot of Andrew Schultz's shit. Oh, well, you know, well, I guess where I'm coming from. I know from who he is, but I'm not a fan. And People were doing that before. Joe Button made yeah. me not a fan. That's it's true. It's just that he just got. But his is on another level. Because he had a lot of platforms. He had Brilliant Idiots, and then his mm-hmm. his shit blew up off of mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about, right? I know who. I know exactly what you're talking about. I haven't seen a whole well, lot I'm, of his stand up. I'm talking about the, the scenario that he just did that. Uh, what? So he recorded this special supposed to be on, I want to Netflix. say, Netflix. Mm-hmm. And Netflix rejected it. They're like, you got to change this shit up. It's going like. You, you got to cut. He had to cut two jokes. Mm-hmm. It's just two jokes? I think it was two jokes to okay. say specific. Yeah, they, I thought it was more than that. That's oh, why he know. was pissed. Well, anyway, they just had some stuff that they didn't want to deal with. Mm-hmm. you know, And he didn't want to change nothing. Yeah. So he paid all his money, like a lot of fucking money to Netflix to get to buy his shit back. Oh word! And then released it on his own platform, and I think is you know it was probably a good investment. A good call. Yeah. Yes. Or also that is great publicity. Yeah, he got Facts. the publi- publicity because it'd be like, yo, no, fuck that, I'll buy it back. And it's yeah. like, did you just give him the money back, or I'm sure there's some type of breach of contract. Yes. Where he has to pay a little bit more. Yeah. But yeah. that whatever more is going to do so much more. He's going to make back in publicity. Exactly. Because they made it looks a big, brilliant on his end. Right yeah, now. it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So. I'm just saying, is that what most people are going to start doing? I'm just going to release everything raw and uncut. Well, I guess they, can, I guess you can't. Do Everybody's it. doing it right now. Even if you're a, a mid, because Ali Sadiq has something similar. Millions, but millions of views on his. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, Ali's, Ali's a, a little different. Ali's over three million already. I yeah, think. but Ali wanted his shit on Netflix, mm-hmm. and I guess Netflix just wasn't fucking with him. They didn't pick it up. Nobody mm-hmm. was fucking with him, so he was like, "I'll just release it on YouTube." And there's probably more to it. Yeah, and I don't. You think he was getting? Some change off of it? You think that's going to benefit him? I mean, I think Ali so. Sadiq getting yeah. two points something mi- on YouTube. That's way to more a Netflix check. That's way more no, views. It's not a Netflix check, but it's way more views than. To me, it's like, do you want it in a large lump sum? You're going to get less. Yeah. Or you want oh, it the long run? The long run, because he owns that. Exactly. That's his. Does he own it? Yeah, yes. that's his. That's his. It's, it's his on his YouTube channel. He nah, owns. He, he don't own it. What? What are you talking not about? Not 100. YouTube. YouTube what? YouTube owns some of that. That's no, no, no. YouTube YouTube licenses it so they make a certain percentage off of the commercials they put on there. But yeah, YouTube the does ads. not own his his, uh, his content. content. So he can remove that content oh, okay. whenever he wants. And he can, and he can put it on his and website. And put it somewhere else. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. And put it on his website because it's by, his content. You and know by saying? having that out, I bet you his, his uh, theaters or his clubs now – I bet you he's selling a lot more. Yeah, because everybody it, knows. Because like, it'd be, be different if YouTube owned the shit. YouTube's copyright shit wouldn't be so strong. You know mm. what I'm saying? They wouldn't be so strong. That was the album of the year so far. Because YouTube, yeah, I think so. That's I agree. the album of the year. Ali is, yeah, he's he's hot. It's right a now. fucking, it's a it's a beast of a special. And you know I, lo- I love the comments. I'm, I read through the comments. They're like, if you're not a storyteller, I don't want to hear you no more. Yeah. Like, yeah. let's hear some fucking yeah. shit. Yeah. And it's and it's so clever. Like the name of the special, just it goes perfect. You know what I'm saying? Because he talks about the domino effect of his life and how it all started from this fucking one in his fucking tracksuit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And that led him down this path. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's and it's really two specials because everybody's putting out 45, 50 minutes. Yeah. And and his was like what an hour and a half? An hour and a half. Yeah. 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 That that's two. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And his stock is up so. Now Netflix got to offer him. Oh, facts! Fat ass. Checks. I'm sure. I'm sure. And no. they got to wait now because he's gonna have to build another special. Yeah, he's because this shit was so that good. Was I had watched it like maybe three or four times already, but we was driving to Florida, and I put that shit on, and my wife was fucking going out, and then yeah. I was here in the chair, and she was like, <laughs> "You know what mm. I'm saying?" And then it got about halfway through. Hey, my bad. I got to pee. You good? You good? And she was up and like. Watching that shit in the car. That's yeah. how good it is. You know what I mean? Like it sucked her out of her sleep. The fucking pause. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> like it's not really pause. I'm yeah. talking about my wife, but fucking it, it got her out of her sleep and yeah. was like, yo, I got to watch this shit now. You know what I'm saying? That's how good that shit was. It was fucking dope. Dude, I'm, I felt like such a bitch fucking. I I got to, I opened for him, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, I was, after the first two shows on Friday, mm-hmm. I, I, I come out and I'm just like, man, or no, first show Friday. I'm like, hey, man. That was dope. I learned a lot. Yeah. And he's like, oh, really? What did you learn? And I was like, 
fuck. Now he, he fucking I'll lead you. Yeah. You and I was like, <laughs> and then I looked at him. I was just like, after I just started answering, I was like, well, I really enjoyed your pacing and. Nah, nothing, man. Never mind. <laughs> Yo, <that's laughs> I walked funny. off. I was yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. But if yeah. you don't, it's in my head, I felt like I told it to George. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. George was like, really stupid. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck you then. Like, yeah. But I, I, but I did. The way he, he yeah. brought, I mean, I'm talking yes. about. Yes. He's a, he's, he's a master class, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So George and Roll mm. always talk about resetting the energy. Yep. And I was, Same. the whole thing, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, nah, ride the wave. And there, and and I seen you know I've seen all y'all do it. Yeah, yeah. This dude demolishes energy yes, completely. The completely beginning kills until it. he gets it the way he wants it. Mm -hmm. Get your shoes off my stage. Yeah. And the guy's like, get. I'm gonna start. Get your shoes and sitting down. Yeah. Yeah. And then he looks over. Make it be that awkward. Yeah. Make mm -hmm. it yes mm -hmm. tight. Hey. And then starts with a story. Yes. And you gotta listen. Yeah. You gotta and starts monotone. Yes. In the story, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We'll start. So I was, I was living with my daddy, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, and, exactly. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, that's what. And like then, you don't want to be here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. And he Ooh. brings you. Ali. In, he's not like I'm here to entertain all y'all. No. no, no, no. You came here to see me. Yep. Welcome to my fucking world. Welcome to my world. Exactly. So that's what I. I'm just the and the pacing and bring. That's what yeah. I learned. But I couldn't tell him all that shit. No, of course, <laughs> of course, of course. Because he did that to me the first time I ever met him. And yeah, then once yeah. we got cool. He takes that shit in better. And you get to see his like real personality. Yeah. And he's like me in a lot of ways. Like that nigga knows he's nice, bro. Yeah. He knows he's nice. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Did y'all see the video clip of where he said he wants to fight Cat Williams? I did see that. I did see that. <laughs> I think Ali will fuck that yeah, nigga Yeah, Ali would fuck him up. Yeah. Cat Williams is super tiny. No question. Yeah. And then just Ali, he's one of them niggas, bro. Like you hear him say shit. And it's like, I believe you, dog. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, you're not just talking shit. Like, I fucking believe you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know? You're a real dude. Yeah, you're a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? But we was talking about the energy and how he changes the energy. And the way he does it, it's fucking... Oh, when it's he masterful, bro. Yeah, it's masterful. That nigga's nice. But you, he... You, you kind of do it. like I do. And that's what he was saying. We yeah. I do it. But the way he does it is like... It may be, yeah. Well, it, it's, it's, it's kind of like It's an advanced your, level. You know yeah, what I'm you saying? Know, your, your friends or your family tell you something. You're like, whatever. Yeah. But then a stranger tells you something. And you're yeah. like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. So they're talking about resetting the energy. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, now ride the wave. Right? Mm -hmm. And... uh I saw him reset the energy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw every single one of his sets. I was yeah. like, holy shit. That's what you mean. He resets the energy every time he comes out. And hey. and you got to have a certain personality for yes, it, too. Yes, you do. You can't you just. Do. You do. I'm, I'm not yeah. going to go sit on a chair and yeah. go to dead silence. I yeah. can't. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's got to be two things. You got to have. So you're saying he's low energy? He's No, he's a high energy comic. When he gets into his shit, yeah. he starts getting busy. But he but brings when, you in the when world. He comes into out. The world. Yeah. He comes out. I'm gonna make it awkward. I'm gonna make it weird. I'm gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all are gonna completely forget about what just happened. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And how yeah. you feel now? It's a whole new movie. And I'm starting exactly. And I'm yeah. starting over from. I'm gonna start it over from scratch. Watch this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's it's a it's a confidence you gotta have. I feel like, mm -hmm. and it's a confidence you gotta have in your material. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to feel like, nah, this shit bangs. You know what I'm saying? And you also got to not care if the audience likes you or not at the beginning. Ag agreed. Agreed. Because I feel like with my jokes, you kind of have to like me because I'm going to say If not, they're going to fucking... They're, they're going to be like, I'm not on board with that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not on board with your genocide ideas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a nice guy. Yeah. Come on. Huh? So how do you think you're special or you're recording? What do you call it? A, a recording? And I'm recording. Yeah. Yeah. I got to pee now too. Go. Right. How, how do you so feel about it? Niggas. Like compared to Ali Sadiq's? No. Oh, it no, ain't no, shit. No, no, no. But for. for Compared to your last one, compared a, to. A way, a thousand times better. Better. I was so. Okay. So the last one, I tried to record the bitch six times over a year. Oh, wow. And each time, like, I remember one, I was really mad because I really liked the set, but the audio and everything was all fucked up. Oh, okay. And so, and the ones that I got good audio and video. I was all over the place. I didn't know what I was doing. It sucked. I thought this last one, I was like, I don't give a fuck if it's good, if it's bad. I'm putting it out there. I did three shows. First show was shit. Eight people showed up. Second show, I got it. I thought, I was like, this is this is good. I got I got it. I had, It wasn't a great set. Yeah, yeah. But it, to me, I was like, oh, this is a, 
a solid set. You said everything you wanted to say. I said everything I want to say. It was a solid set. But all I had was a microphone in front and my phone in the back. That was the recording, the audio. So it sounded like shit. Uh, if you just bought the album and listened to it, it sounded, it sounded like shit. Yeah, yeah. Because the people I had that were going to record it, I told them, you, so you're going to do, do yeah, we got your you're album. You're talking about the clown poet. Okay. No, no, no. I'm talking about the people that, that filmed it. Okay. They only brought film equipment. They brought no audio equipment. Uh, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, and I I don't regret putting it out, but I put it out and it was, it was, it was, it was like I said, a solid set, but just the way it sounded and everything. So you know the one on Spotify, right? the one that was on Spotify, I took it off. Did you? Yeah. I took all that shit off. The only one I have now is the, the one like, uh, on SoundCloud. It, like, it didn't sound bad to me. It did. Okay. Only to you. Yeah, to me, it did. I've heard way worse on that. Exactly, I don't want that to be the thing. I heard way worse. <laughs> I'm just saying, quality, I heard quality way wise. worse. That quality was wise. fucking. Yeah, it wasn't dog shit. It yeah, was it shit. Wasn't trash. Why, so why did yours compare to everybody else's you've done? Why do you feel like this one? You did yours first. What do you mean? No, I'm talking about like so, like clown poet, uh, Blair's. You did George's? I did, I did one before that. I did a, it was called Blind Tiger Mixtape. Is that the one you're referring to? Yeah, on SoundCloud in 2014. Oh. And I put all, I put uh, a bunch of them out and people, people gave me shit. Oh, okay. Because there's some that, it was mm. the first time that I had ever said the bit or oh, joke. Oh, wow. And I just put it out. But that's because all I would do is record every single Friday night. Yeah, yeah. And the ones that I got big pops. I put out. out. Yeah, yeah. Like, why why, why am I going to... Uh, that's understandable. Yeah, exactly. So in my... I was like, oh, I like the way I said this. It's got a good laugh. I'm mm-hmm. putting this out on, yeah, yeah. on on SoundCloud. But this one was nice because it was in my hometown. Mm-hmm. A lot of it was family. And it's a lot of stories about growing up. Okay. Yeah. So that to me... And I'm going to animate it. That's mm-hmm. tough. I think... I think and I did almost 50. Did about 48. That I cut out 10 minutes because I was like... It was like religious jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then other jokes that I'm like, you're going to know who I'm talking about. Yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah. want you to think badly with that person because yeah, they're, yeah. not, they're not here anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I can't you. say that. Yeah, yeah. So I had to cut that part out. But I'm going to cut it down to 30 minutes probably, 30 to 40. Nice, yeah. And then the best, the funniest jokes that I can picture visually, then mm-hmm. animate them. That's tight. That's yeah. a good set. A good 30, is, a good 30 on an on a album is, is kind of nice. Yeah. Cause like Bryson's was shit was short, and I was like, man, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they kind of left you like, man, I want to hear more. Yes, and it made me go look up the rest of the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's dope. That's a smart yeah. idea. You know what I'm saying? So thirty is cool. Yeah, because if you do thirty, and you say get, you got one that's an hour, you know what I'm saying? That's already out. People are gonna go look for that one now. If you're you know not what popular, I'm you got to give in people in. in yeah. Because Andrew Schultz, his very first one was only uh, sixteen minutes. Hmm. Sixteen. Sixteen. He did four different clubs. Mm-hmm. He did four minutes at each club. Okay, and in that sixteen minutes, it was I think a, maybe a little bit less because some of it's the intro and him yeah. going to each club, so he's really not doing as yeah. much time. Mm. It's, it's kind of like music a little bit. Albums don't have as many songs anymore. You yeah, can, unless you're Chris you, Brown. Yeah, or shit. The game got thirty one. Yeah, I heard. Like, yeah, fuck. I'm, I'm about to listen to all those. Uh, exactly. That's the whole point. And it's mm-hmm. like, yeah, it's and, people's attention spans are shorter now. I you know what I'm saying? Ask you something, but ah. Shit, I had it too. It was about comedy. I forget. Oh, I got one though. What? Uh, how long we at? We're at an hour twenty three. Oh, okay. This topic might take a minute. Should well, we this will be let's be last one then. Okay. Should I do it? Yeah. All right. So, silence conversation with my wife. And I it made me think about this stitch uh, and the way it came up was I brought up the shit that Carlos Miller said. Carlos Miller, which I gotta walk back, by the way. Uh, the Wild Out Wild and Out boys are hilarious. I gotta walk that back. Mm-hmm. I was talking shit from a not a from a perspective of I hadn't been seeing a lot of their shit. But DC and Carlos, don't them niggas is funny. You know what I'm saying? Now Chico Bean, I ain't seen enough of his stand up by himself to judge, but DC and Carlos, them niggas is funny as fuck. Anyway. Naturally. Yeah, hilarious, dog. I'm. They couldn't still couldn't fuck with me. Don't get it twisted. I still feel that you way. You ain't seen DC stand up. Have you? I have. Oh, okay. I thought his stand up was hilarious. You didn't think so? Um, I saw some of it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I saw like maybe. I'm not gonna say that four or five know, clips. You know what I'm saying? And the four I, I may or five that I've book seen. Him in the future. I think it's funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Very, very good. Yeah, he's funny. Very, very <laughs> there you go. Stupid. That's what you gotta say and move on. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Oh, anyway, so he was on his radio shit and it was a clip. 
And he was talking about women and their expectations. Okay. And how he's like, man, women be looking for this nigga that don't exist. They want a nigga with, they want a nigga that make two hundred k a year. He got long dick. You know what I'm saying? He opened the door for you. Like you know what I mean? Like that nigga don't exist. You right, know right. what I'm saying? That's real. That can take you on vacations, but but make mad money. Like it's it's impossible. You know what I'm saying? Or he's married. Facts. And so my wife was like, "Well, what do you think?" Men do What are men's Unreasonable mm -hmm. expectations And one of the big ones Is That I feel like A lot of niggas do nowadays Is I want a nasty bitch mm -hmm. That's only slept with like Two people mm -hmm. That bitch don't exist dog Cause some niggas Their fucking level of like What How many women How many men A, a woman could have slept with Before it's too much Is mad low dog it's yeah, mad I guess it's low. not me. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't know. There's a loophole. There's What's a that? loophole. What's that? Is it butt sex? Yep. I was going to say, cause <laughs> some of these girls are doing like, oh, I'm going to save myself for marriage yeah. in the front, but in the back, yeah. hey, everybody come play. They're having fucking mad butt yeah, sex. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah what I'm exactly. Saying? So she then is a freak, but then the pussy's pristine. Yeah, but then she don't know what, what to do with her pussy. You know uh, what I'm saying? Oh, it's different. So, I, I think it's different. You know what I'm saying? I think the feeling in, in the... I'm not, don't get it twisted, I, I don't know, but I just, I would feel like it's different in the ass than it is in the pussy, you know what I'm saying? I think it's it, it feels better for them, because that's where it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? You know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's a natural thing. Yeah, so then they know what to do to be like, ooh, this feels good, you know what I'm saying? And you're like, yeah, that does feel but good. But that's you know like super saying? freak, the very first time you hook up with him, you're like, no, 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 no. My ass. Yo, she, exactly. Like, God dang. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Ass is a, a special, intimate that's like <laughs> thing for uh, a special you know, intimate for somebody that you trust. You Facts, know what I'm that is yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? So, so, if, so if you find a girl, Bobby, because you're single, you find a girl and never sucked a dick, still a virgin in front, but that ass is blown out. You're like, no, I'm not taking that. Uh <laughs> she saved it for you. Uh. Yeah. She's a virgin, but her ass is like you said. So that's a real thing. Uh, uh, in in the Mormon religion, apparently. Yeah, oh, for real. Because yeah. I've never even thought about this before. So, uh, yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. I don't want no blown out booty hole. I mean, but she's like, no, you don't. You, not that I'm. But I then anal sex ain't my thing. Hey, there you go. You never know. But that's she's gonna, not going to tell you that. That's disturbing. She's not going to tell you that. Yo, it's a little disturbing. And that's some shit. And that's the other thing is niggas don't want. That's the thing I feel like niggas don't want to know. A lot of niggas can't yeah. handle right. That pressure yeah. Some niggas don't have the confidence To be like Man she slept with A thousand dudes Yeah And she picked me That's why I automatically assume You know what I'm saying The majority of women Have gone through their whole phase Like yeah. Whatever you done did yeah. You done did you know? And niggas don't want to know it You yeah. know what I'm saying But that's the thing It's like Niggas want a bitch that Ain't slept with a lot of niggas That don't nag You know what I'm saying That could cook That it's it's You're, you're just People so are Niggas looking. want a bitch that um, that every other guy is not trying to holler at. And that's weird. That's weird? Yeah. Like, I feel like, why you want the bitch that, like, you could be like, hey, go to, the, like, Patrice say, go to, go to the store. No, 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 take the alleyway. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I talk to the bums. They don't want you. You good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'll make it back. You know what I mean? And that's what a lot of, I feel like a lot of niggas, that's the confidence they have. They, like, want to, like, the bitch I'm going to keep is going to be okay. But the one that, the bad bitch, I can't, I, I don't have the confidence to keep her. You know right. what I'm saying? That's part of my issue. Dang. I felt, you know, model girl or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would prefer for her not, I would prefer for my girl not to wear makeup and not to be all did up and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. That says a lot about you, my nigga. You but know what she, I'm, I'm just saying she's a natural, like, yeah. I want her to be bad, but. Naturally. Yeah. And then the makeup is an enhancement. Well, if you so if she's bad naturally, when she put the makeup on, it's gonna be like, God damn, you know what I'm saying? Then the niggas like that. And I'm different. Like the makeup don't do it for me. Or the, the nails done, I don't look at that shit. Man, I love that shit. I mean, as long as you ain't got like dirt and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> I like a, I like a, I like a put together bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But I grew up with my mama. You know what I'm saying? And I grew up watching my mama get dressed and shit. You know what I'm saying? And put her makeup on. So you and, feel like you know what I'm saying? Like my wife felt like she had to be dressed to the T 
No matter where she went, if she just went to Starbucks, if she went to check the mail, she ain't going. Nah, to the that's house different. I don't want to see being you. Done up. I don't want to see you like that all the time. Don't uh-huh. get it twisted. I like to see my my wife regular. You know what I'm saying? Because then I know it's the same bitch. Because sometimes I be seeing these bitches on TikTok and shit, and they oh. put the makeup on, oh, and really. you be like, yo. They put their teeth in. Facts. You be like, yo, nigga, some of these niggas is getting tricked like a motherfucker. You wake up next to the fucking sea monster, right. and when you went to sleep with to Beyonce, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's... You know that's what I mean? Why you need that natural and bitch. my bitch is the same bitch. When she wake up and she ain't got no makeup on, I'm like, oh, you look the same. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It just enhances what she's got already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. my point to the conversation is, because you're in the dating world now, you're single. Do you feel like women and, and men have unneedable ex- expectations and that people are just going to be single forever now? Yeah, that's, that's where the world's come to. Right? That's how it feels. I mean, I'm not in the dating world, but just when I listen to... When I listen to niggas who get on this fucking I'm a high value man bullshit and I'm not going to accept there, nobody's willing to accept anything from the other one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't know if Josh can attest to this, but as a married man, that's what marriage is, bro. But you have to have some expectations. Well, no, I think it depends on when you met, the age you met, because yeah. if you both are on the come up. Yeah. You don't expect the other person to have all that money and yeah, yeah. support you and do all this shit. You're both coming up. Yeah. But if you're in your late 30s, early mm-hmm. 40s, and now you're dating, you have to come to the table with See, something. And, and, and I'm not even talking about on that basis, bro. I'm talking about on the, the regular shit. Yeah. Like, niggas be like, oh, well, if you got a woman that nags you and tells you, uh, you know, uh, that you have to do something or doesn't allow you to be a, just go and be a man, then you should leave her. Like, nigga, that's every bitch, bro. Was that what Andrew you? Tate? No, that Andrew Tate, nigga. And then there's another nigga I watch. He's a British nigga. And uh, he, like, will react to videos of, like, women doing, like, shady shit or, or whatever. Oh, okay. And he's a, and, and he'll talk shit. And some of the shit he says is funny, but some of the shit I'd be like. But are they married? No. There you go. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You can treat your girlfriend apparently like that, but you You try to treat your wife like that. It's like, God dang, dude, it's not worth the stress. No. And that's what what I mean. It's like, there's the, the no naggy bitch don't exist, dog. You know what I'm saying? And and you have to find what part can you deal with? You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? That's it. What, what is your, your negotiation? Mm -hmm. Cause Everybody's got to negotiate. My wife's negotiating with shit I do, and I'm negotiating with shit that she does. Right. You know what I'm saying? And can I deal with this for the rest of my exactly. life? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, my wife's not naggy. You know, she don't be on me about, like, oh, you didn't do this today? What you been doing all day? Blah, 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 blah. You mm-hmm. didn't get this done. You didn't get that done. My wife, my wife's not like that. You know what I'm saying? My, my wife is jealous, you know what I'm saying? And probably more jealous than a lot of niggas could take. But yeah. I'm like, I'll take that over that all day. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. You know what Mine's I mean? the exact opposite. <laughs> Not jealous at all. Like, yeah. I come home and be like, and then I think she want to suck my dick. And she'll be like, so let her suck your dick. <laughs> like, fuck, come on. But then it's like, you do nothing around the house. And it's like, I'm in Austin. What the fuck? I'm doing all shit by myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you probably... Re- I'd rather deal with that. I can't deal you with the jealousy. You couldn't deal with jealousy. Exactly. No, because mm-hmm. I've been the at the other ends of spying and I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Yeah. No, not I'm going to. I'm I'm beating the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's the worst. Over a look. Yo, facts. I'm like, God, yeah, I can't live like that. Yo, yeah. and see, it's my wife's, yeah, yeah, my wife's jealous, but, you know, maybe not to that extent, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. like, don't get it twisted. Like, if a bitch look at me and I'm like, <laughs> then yeah. it's like, Oh, that's okay, different. Nigga, we got a problem. You know what I'm saying? But, but if a bitch look at me and I'm, I'm like. I'm talking about, like, titties on the TV come out. Oh, I And then it. you're. Oh, is that what you want? You no, like that, that's don't different. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you like that, don't you? I'm like, yeah, there's nice titties. What? Yo, yeah, and no, no, like, no. Wow, wow, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, different. Fuck. That's different. You know what I'm saying? When you say expectations, though, this thing needs to be something like, I don't want a bitch that, you know, got of, a, of course, got a but fucked up credit or, you know. Of, see, I'm not even talking about on the money shit. I'm just okay. talking about on your standard. I got to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But on the money shit, yes, there should be some expectations, but. There's also got to be some compromise, too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So you don't really learn that until later on. Yeah, facts. Um, and like I said, I had to deal with the, uh, you know, fucked up family issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucked up, uh, you know, ex issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other shit. That's so. always going to be carried over. Yeah, that's yeah. always shit that carries over, too. 
You know what so, I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, you did have to deal with that. But that's but where you, all the, uh, but the you, complaining and nagging, because she was trying to make my energy fucked up to match her energy. I got you. Yeah. Because she's, she's dealing with all that. I got you. Instead of fucking, and she put it on you. Yeah. Instead of fucking dealing with it. You know right. what I'm saying? So I got to be Or, or being level. aware of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? But you, <laughs> they masked that for so long. I mean, you can't really... She can be a, a perfect bitch for the first year, and then all that bad shit just comes out. True. I don't think you can. I mean, sometimes you can't catch it. I mean, I don't know. You don't, you're not going to catch it in the very beginning. No, not always. Because, like, my wife, I feel like she was very honest about the jealousy early. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and that was no problem. I'm like, oh, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. to me, if a bitch ain't a little jealous, and, I mean, are you really putting it down? You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> She just cool. I'm she fucking could, with you, but she yeah. could just be cool. As I get, I know, I get, I get threats. She's like, I'd, I'd fuck your life out. Uh, like you, mm. I know your social. I know all your. Oh social yeah, media she lets you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's so she'll let me know. That's her little hint of jealousy. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's just but not she's your not, typical jealous woman. You no, know what no, I'm saying? No. And uh, yeah, because I've only seen it where if she sees it herself, she'll because mm -hmm. she's done it before. Where mm -hmm. I remember this is a long time ago though, when I was in really good shape. Uh, <laughs> the. The girl came up to me at the movies, and I worked with her and gave me a big hug. And she's mm -hmm. like, Josh. She was a cute girl. Yeah. Green, green eyes. Mm -hmm. She knows I like green eyes. I mean, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> and she gives me a big hug, and she goes, hi, I'm so-and-so. And she goes to shake my wife's hand, mm -hmm. fiance at the time. Yeah. And my wife looks at me and goes, who's this bitch? In front of her. And oh, she was like, oh, that's uh, uh, oh yeah, because she'll fight. Yeah, and I'm, that's I was like, I'm just like, I work with her. And she's like, oh, okay, hi. And then- Walked off to go get food from the uh, sn uh, snack bar and everything. Yeah. I was like, all right, you guys have a... She was with her, mm -hmm. some dude, right? Yeah. So that... And then after that, didn't say nothing. Yeah. We go watch the movie. As mm -hmm. soon as the movie's over. Yeah. So uh, she's really friendly. I was Yo, like, wow, yeah. you kept that the whole nah, time. See, Misty don't keep <laughs> shit. Misty's getting like, that out right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I think she was doing, though? Mm -hmm. She was testing how I felt the whole movie. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, during the movie, am I awkward? Yeah, or am I? And I was just loose. I was relaxed. Mm -hmm. I was, like, nothing happened. She yeah, just, yeah, yeah. She was a flirty chick, and she, she came and gave me a hug to yeah. test you, probably. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But she's done that to about, throughout our... Mm -hmm. Our career together, yeah, I would say about maybe four times. Oh shit! Where she's, oh. Chased, I, can't even, I can't even count. Them. Chased off the girl like, yo, nah, get the fuck away from him. Oh, say, your wife just has a very uh, strong, secure level of tolerance. Yeah, because in her head, she's like, you, you're, you're so lucky. You shouldn't be. I shouldn't be with you. Kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we both agree. Wow, I mean, facts. You know what I'm saying? She was the head cheerleader, won nationals, okay. like put herself through college, like yeah. independent person. Like, yeah, yeah. She should be with a very successful man. Yeah, like, high going, value man. High value man living yeah. in the woodlands. Yo, facts. I was like, you'd have three kids. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. and then you, you, you would just be shoving them around in your Lexus. You're yeah, not, yeah, you're not giving yourself enough credit. You no, know. I'm with Kabaz on that one because oh, I feel like I give myself a lot of credit. I can house, mind fuck have, the shit out of somebody. Yo. I'm just saying, you get your house, you got your car. I mean, you're successful. If you uh, well, see, when we first got together, I had a six pack and I had like ten thousand dollars in the bank account. So I tricked her and made her. I took her uh, on vacations. I bought yeah. her shit. So she thought, don't we all? She yo, thought I was on some shit. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. a few years later, my back goes out. I had back surgery. <laughs> broke his shit. Got fucking fat. Got fat. <laughs> Started trying to live Got my dreams. Yeah. <laughs> Puts, Every put a couple flag. kids in her. Ruined yo, her liver. <laughs> yo. And so she's like, look what you... She does it every once in a while. Look what you did to me. <laughs> I'm Damn. like, what? I like those big titties. What's wrong? Yo. What's wrong with what? But that's I'm the same way. On paper... <laughs> My wife was bugging. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> On paper, dog. Like, at the beginning, I'm like, bitch, how do I even get a chance? You know what I'm saying? You came up. I live with my mom. I didn't have no job. I wasn't even featuring yet. I was a te technically, I was an op open mic host nigga. You know what I'm saying? I feel like every woman like that. They do. They like a fixer up. They like a fixer up. Like, yeah. A woman likes to build you up. They want to build you up? Whatever they get out of building yeah. you up. Not, oh, yeah. Well, wait, wait, not, oh. not specifically a fixer upper, a dreamer. Because mm. the person has to have some type of goal. You gotta have some you kind of ambition. You can't just fix somebody up yeah. and then be like, "All right, here you go." Yeah, 
Like they get something out of like my being wife, a part of it. You got, and yeah. you got to have it in you already a yeah, little bit. That's yeah. what my wife always yeah. says. You have, you always had it in you. Mm. But I see yourself pat herself on the back every now and again. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Any like, one of your achievements is actually her achievement. Facts. Because yep. a woman, she wants to help make you that king. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's and my wife will look at me every a, now a real and again woman. like, look at you. Look at, look at how you've grown up. Yeah. Look at you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, and not like they're the way. trying to be the, you know, the, ma- the no. man or whatever. Mm-mm. But no, yeah. But that's her way of saying, like, look what I did. Right. Yeah. Look at me. Look how. I, look where I got you. You know what I'm saying? That's real queen shit. That is yeah. though. It facts. It facts. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean. You got to be able to compromise with some bullshit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I and I just can't get over niggas who be like, what's what's too much. I hear niggas on podcasts, you know, specifically Matt Hoffa's podcast. That's it's always what, a flip side. That's what made me stop watching Matt Hoffa. Oh, you, st- you don't watch Matt Hoffa? I don't watch it as much because wow. he had this one nigga on there, this dude, Pressure or some shit. Mm-hmm. And they got on the point about what's too many for a woman to mm-hmm. have slept with. Oh, okay. And these niggas were saying shit like five. <laughs> and I'm like, that's wild. how old is this bitch? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a bunch of rehabilitated hoes. That's what I'm saying. If you met this bitch when she was, like, fucking, I give you shit, nigga, where I'm from, I'm 17, nigga. You like, know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm there's, saying? There's broken women that just didn't know any better. That didn't know any better. You know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And and didn't realize there should have value I, to it. It's only you know a high exactly. number if I know a lot of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I know all five, that's a that's lot. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if I know one out of yeah, the five, yeah. I'm like, oh shit, you're a virgin. Yo, <laughs> facts. Like, facts. Something that would bug me that I like if I knew that she had a train ran on ran on the before. That's different. I'm not sure. To me, for me, it is. I, I, I yeah, I could. So do you that. sleeping with two girls is not a problem, but her sleeping with two dudes at the same time is. Yes, I'm toxic. <laughs> There is a mentally, double standard. Mentally, that would bug me. Why? Yeah, because it's a lack of respect. It's a. Uh, oh, I don't think it's a lack of respect. So, just- so her sleeping with, with, we'll call it fucking two hundred and fifty dudes, solo is not a lack of respect. But her getting a train is a lack of respect for herself. A train normally consists of at least three. I mean, it can it can, it can be two, but. A train could be two. Yeah, yeah. If it's one girl and two niggas, that's a train. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm an extreme stuff. person. I feel you. So in my head, it's been 250, no matter what. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just the one train yeah, it just, means it's, it's 250 it's, people. And it's me. And maybe well, well, there's two things. Mm-hmm. For me, it's more like uh, I've never had a threesome. So how the fuck did you have a threesome? Because she's a girl. Mm-hmm. And, and I know. It's, easy. A, it's much easier. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And But because I haven't. Yo, because you got to finesse it. All she's got to do is, hey, y'all want to fuck me? <laughs> you know and, what I'm and saying? And the second is her number could not be higher than my number. Really? Yeah. If your a, a body woman? count was higher than my body count. But again, that goes to mm-hmm. uh, people who say insecurities. Of course. Toxic masculinity. And, and, but and, in my head, that's how it, the math works. And the thing is, the thing with men, and that women have to understand with men, is you got to lie. Mm. <laughs> they have to. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's what? An acceptable lie. They have to lie. About their body count? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, they, they have to lie, and they have to lie. You got to ask. You got to probe these questions and ask. Because once a nigga knows, he might not be able to handle it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? It's easier for a woman's number to go up than a man's. It's way easier yeah. for her number to but go up. A woman's number can get out of control. Yeah, easy. Because she's a woman. Yeah. And she dictates it. You know what I'm saying? Pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I dictates it. I got what you did there. You saw what I did there? I that was a fucking... Did. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah I've, I've, well, I've been told the number and thought, that's not that bad. And then I heard the real number slip out from the best friend. From like friends? Yeah. And I was like, who Yo, was? Yo. That's not what I heard. Yo, what the facts. Fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you confront them and they're like, yeah, that's actually true. And it's just like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be all right. That's a lot closer to but my number than I thought. You should be confident. You should be like, yo, you. Who keeps count? Everybody. Oh uh, yeah. Not after a certain. After age. a certain. After a certain age. After a certain number, niggas you don't just keep forget. count. You just forget. <laughs> yeah. You be sitting on the toilet like, oh shit. You think women? Keep then you count? just count the good ones. <laughs> Twenty eight. You think, you think women old. keep count? <coughs> yes. Definitely. Like just forever. They, yes. Not only do they keep count, they keep count of the ones that don't count. Yes. You know what I mean? Well, that didn't count because because it was trash. Or yeah, yeah. we only did it only last it once, for, and then it's done. Only, yeah, he only lasted for a minute. That you know what I'm count. saying? That didn't count. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? A number doesn't matter. It just shouldn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. It doesn't, but it does it, if you know. Yeah. Once you, you know, te- porn stars don't keep count. 
Of course oh, yeah. not. It's Why different. Would they? Okay. It's different. Like I was watching, just I don't really watch No Jumper, but I watched the clips. And that's what he was saying on No Jumper. He was saying how like in the porn world, it's so different than with regular people. Yeah. Like when you hear somebody's body count or you hear something crazy they did, it doesn't bother you. But in the regular world, it does. Because we realize like, yeah, you were porn, you were working. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how they look at it. They look at yeah. work. They look at it like a job. You they, know what I'm saying? They had sex with a porn star while she was pregnant. That freaked me the fuck out. Yo, was, you know what like, I'm, I'm talking about like seven, eight months pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're both having sex with the porn star. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know that, what I'm that's saying? very extreme. But to them, they're like, well, what? Yeah. If her husband was fucking her while she was pregnant, what's wrong with that, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, it was them two and a girl, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so three, but still. I'm just like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But they have like, you know, uh, well, technically it was the a porn world is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <it's> stupid. <laughs> 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 you need to have that button up fucking yeah. ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, you know, I, I feel like niggas should have enough confidence to be like, she picked me. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't care if I had a girl that had 10,000 mm -hmm. dudes and she moved to, like, a, you know, say she came from a different city and then she moved to my state and I just never knew about it. Yeah. That I'm wouldn't bother you. They do that. <laughs> but yeah, but, yeah, if, she, so but if she had fucked 10,000 niggas in San Antonio. That's definitely going to bother you. That's going to bother you because yeah. you feel like I might run into one of these niggas in, yeah, this, I'm gonna look stupid. in this million count I, city. I might. I will. I, I Dude, definitely you know, will on a daily you know how many basis. People live here on a daily basis. You know how many niggas live here? A million people live here. I got people I'm fucking friends with, like good friends. Mm. And if I didn't want to see them, I would never see them. I think mm. it's more the because I'll never run into them. It's you know more what I'm the stigma. Mm -hmm. So if nobody knows, like other people don't know the body count, then it's like. But if everybody, if like, I feel bad for all the girls in high school that slept with like six, seven dudes. Yeah. But they were like, oh, these girls are hoes. Yeah, exactly. And they get out. And maybe they sleep with one or two more guys, but they still have the stigma from high school yeah, yeah. of they're a hoe, but they're not. Yeah, they're versus not. somebody who's a virgin in high school, then goes off to college and just starts fucking And what's funny is like dicks. half the niggas, yo, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And then half the niggas that chalk probably called the girl a hoe, they probably married to a hoe. You know what I'm saying? It's mostly the girls that are. they didn't know her. You know calling, what I mean? It's mostly the girls calling. Oh, she was a hoe back in the day. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know what You're saying? a hoe now. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, exactly. Right. You know what I mean? Fuck three dudes and they. They automatically a hoe for the rest of their life. Facts. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know what I mean? So I just feel like men and women have unnecessary expectations. Like unreal. Nowadays, I think more than ever. Unreal expectations. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's going to have some bullshit that you're willing to accept. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's just, yeah. it, it is what it is. It's usually the real religious ones too. Mm -hmm. The ones that are like in the thirties now, like yeah. Jesus and I love God. And yeah. Yeah. He's with me. All I'm like, damn, you really, yeah, you really get it in. Yeah. You, know what you, I'm saying? you, you yeah. went through a mountain of dicks facts. to get to Yo, Jesus. Yo, facts. <laughs> but facts. We all like something. We know what we like. Like, man, I would love to have my girl to be like that, to be like this or whatever. True. True. But, um, that, that, that's also a problem. Yeah. But that's so, my yeah. thing is like, I feel like just like how, Carlos Miller was saying, bitches want a nigga that's got long dick, fucking makes 200K a year, fucking, you know what I mean, takes me on vacations, blah, blah, blah. But if you really break that down, it's like, okay, if he's making that much money, he's probably not always free to be on fucking vacation because he's fucking working. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And then same thing with women. men. Men are like, I want a bitch that's a freak but hadn't slept with a lot of niggas that don't nag. You know what I'm saying? Well, that, you know what I mean? It's like, what that do you bitch, think? What do you think is the percentage of any man that makes two hundred k that um that cheats on this woman? Oh, it's much higher. Yeah, much higher. So you, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's gonna be something. You're gonna have to have something. Points. Yeah, more opportunities. I would assume. Facts. Yeah, a little more power. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? So no, I, I agree. You know, and I just feel like I, who's the one that said a man is only as faithful as his opportunities? Option. Uh, Option. Chris Rock. Chris Rock. There yeah. you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I don't know, because I put it in the context of, of all right, like, first of all, you would give up not only your wife, but you're seeing your kids all the time, mm -hmm. your comedy career, half your shit mm -hmm. for her. You know that piece saying? of pussy. Yeah, exactly. And then put a couple babies in her. What is she going to look like in 10 years? Yeah, yeah. Is she going to look you know, anywhere the same? It's yeah. Like, have have y'all seen, seen Baby Boy, right? Yeah. You know that scene where... Uh, the girl like you, you, uh, you know you want to fuck me or, which, which though um she's like, 
Yeah. Damn, I wish uh, you could play the clip. But um, basically, mm-hmm. I don't think any man <laughs> can resist something like that. Like be, it being thrown at you like that? But I'm just saying the level of badness that she is. And the way that she, you go it's home, it's almost like she's raping I think him I, 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 without like forcefully. No, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not on the same level, yeah, yeah. Me- mentally. Like, no, all right, think about it, think about it. Like, uh, it was like, a joke, guys. <laughs> right. no. no, it's a female, ra- like, female rape. <laughs> all right, Let trigger, the, trigger okay, all okay. Right. You know what you do if, if Rihanna came in mm-hmm. and she's just aggressively grabbing my stuff, and getting me, you know, yeah, yeah, what can I do? Walk away, Bobby. Yeah, walk away. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to fuck her, Bobby. Yeah, facts. <laughs> you know away. what I'm saying? How? You know what, what I mean? mean? How? How can you resist that? Because I have a mind. Facts. I have willpower. Yeah, it's I go it's, home. Yeah, you gotta have it, willpower. It ain't just the beauty. But it's see, Rihanna. See, you're a single nigga now, though. You're, yeah, that's different. Yeah, you shouldn't resist it. But you if know you have what I'm a saying? wife, what are you trying to do? Get us in trouble? What the facts, fuck? Are you, doing you know about what I'm it? saying? <laughs> I'm not saying that's gonna ever happen. I'm just saying. But even if it did happen, I would fucking resist. It's almost equivalent. No, you know look, what I'm this is what you do. You, you, because I love my fucking wife, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck Rihanna. It ain't no fucking bitch. I don't give a fuck who she is. You know what I'm saying? It could be Man. Rihanna and Beyonce together. I'm still yeah. fucking walking away. And I'm all going off the baby boy clip of yeah. What the what camera, the camera on my hand. <laughs> I wish I wish I could play the clip so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking. Well, no, I, no, no, I, I, I know what you're talking about. I get, I get no, it. I don't you know, know Blair does this. This, I go home and I take all that pent up energy and I take it out on my wife. Facts. Yeah. And she sometimes knows like. Where were you tonight? Where did that come from? <laughs> oh no, where? I, I took it out on you. <laughs> <laughs> See, I go hard like that. I try to go hard like that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so, I don't want to spoil it. Nah, you, <laughs> yeah, got to, got to. And it's like every few days. But don't get it twisted. Sometimes the 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 length of the of the fuck up will will, will last a little longer. You know what I'm saying? But nine times out of ten, me and my wife trying to get the fuck out of there. We gonna hit each other with the fucking special move, yeah. Stone Cold Stunner, real quick. Bow, you know what I'm saying? She hit me with the tombstone. Bow, we out of there. You know what I'm saying? Fucking pin. And that's dope about grown sex. You can, you know you can do that in this. You know. Oh yeah, you know what each other. Yeah, likes. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I'm a nut. You go nut. We out of here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Every now and again, it's like, like I, I had one time I had to apologize because we hadn't fucked like that. And then I was like, I'm so sorry. I was trying to put you in every single position within like 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It's like, do this now. Turn around. Now get over here. You know what I'm saying? Turn hey, off the up. fan. It's yeah. getting dry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was like fucking lean up. I'm gonna get on top of this thing and I'm gonna fucking crouch down in it. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. I had to apologize to her. Like I'm sorry. You know, that was a lot. Hold of on. Work. Let me get my hat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now you wear my hat <laughs> like that's a lot of work in fucking 10 minutes you know what I mean? but yeah no bobby we, we wouldn't cheat on our wives no facts. Yes. <laughs> it's not Fuck what i meant yeah. but yeah i, I mean but it. you were that was no, the hit. like how do you how do you how do you get out of that yeah, but that's what if, women heard i just yeah. that's facts because <laughs> yeah. yeah. that because that means because what women will hear too is if she's throwing it at you you can't fucking block it you just yeah. gotta take well she's doing everyone what am i supposed to do yeah. you know what I'm the saying? only way that happens is if she uh, drugs me and then gives me a Viagra at yeah. the same time. Okay. And then I'll be nah, like, even, I, if, even if she fucking drugs me, nigga, I'm going to automatically no. subconsciously in my sleep, I'm just going to flip around and lay on top of my dick. So she, nothing can happen. You know what I'm saying? That's how much I love my wife. She's like, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Got that ass. <laughs> I know Blair's been keeping a virgin in front the whole time. <laughs> Yo, I love my wife. I would never, even subconsciously, fuck no. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Fuck you doing, nigga? Uh, no, I, <laughs> I, get so I, 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 I went through a whole like questions on, on uh, what I can do, and so I was just like, all right. So what you said is okay. They they can't I can, they can't be naked. She goes correct. I was like, and I can't touch them. She goes correct. I was like, but I could be naked. She's like, ah, uh, what? I was like, she's totally clothed, but I'm naked. Mm-hmm. I was like, and oh, I can't touch like, her. These are like the variables yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're cheating. And I was like, funny. I can't touch her, right? No. I was like, but what if my nut touches her? That's part of your body. I'm like, no, not my nut. Like, my nuts, like, I come on her face. She goes, if you can find a woman that'll just let you come on her face, go for it. <laughs> I'm like, damn. All right. That's funny. Yo, me and my wife, we don't do hypotheticals. We don't fucking, we don't fuck around like that. Yeah. Hell nah. We start, we've had arguments over fucking hypothetical situations. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we go deep. But if y'all watch Baby yeah. Boy in that scene, even though I guess the reason Tyrese didn't do it is because he was about to do it and then his head had clicked. Uh, she, you know, this is a setup because she worked with his. His with girl. His, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but she was. See, even then he had fucking willpower. Yeah, yeah. You know what? But I'm saying in, in real life. 
<laughs> that was that was that, it's, that, it's rape. Watching, it's you rape. Know, <laughs> you know, you no, know I'm just saying how hard you know when a be. nigga like when the, in the Fast and the Furious when they fly from one the car to one building to the other and people are like get the fuck out of here that's not possible that's yeah. why they, so that scene like that's impossible that's not real <laughs> ain't no fucking real person fucking being faithful to his bitch right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. You in know, that, in that scenario, we don't do hypotheticals with like, what if I just did more around the house? That would start a fight. That's gonna start a, That's fight. Gonna start a fight. See, me and my wife are the opposite of that. Yeah. We're super jealous, so we don't fucking do hypotheticals, nigga. Yeah. Nah, we ain't got no hall pass list. We ain't got none of that. Oh, shit. Oh, we you both. Uh, hers is Johnny Depp, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I can follow Johnny Depp. Go ahead. Yo, facts. Uh, and also, he doesn't want you. And yeah. <laughs> my wife like fucking big muscly niggas. I'm like, nah. Mine's Ana de Armas. Oh, that's you know new. That yeah. That's the other rule, too, is you can have like a top five, but you can't fucking be adding motherfuckers. No, we you know can switch saying? out. Nah, you can't edit. Nah, fuck no. I Ana edited I edited one time and I found out, okay, we're not editing. Where's she from? Cuba. She got to look like your wife, though. Yep. Well, you got you, you, you have a type. You I clearly have, have a type. type. You what, know what I'm saying? You know who, who my first. Uh, Crush was ever. Oh, she looks like your wife too. I already see what you're typing. Uh, t- Tiffany. Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, green eyes. It was something about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a type, definitely. You know what I'm saying. But the other one, even more honor the Armas because she's she's Cuban. Yeah, so I got like, you. Fuck. Yeah. Now nah, there's no edits. Yeah, you know though, what I'm she asked me. She's like, "What's the one thing you before she finished? Like, if you spoke Spanish perfectly." <laughs> she's like, "What?" I was just like, "If you had like a, a slight Spanish accent." Yeah. And then you you would get mad at me in Spanish. We would mm. never have a fight. I would just do what you say, <laughs> and we'd have sex all the time. I was like, but when you nag, I hate that voice. <laughs> That's, stupid. <laughs> stupid. That's the only thing I would change. That's fucking funny. Uh, nah, because I couldn't. Nah, there's no hall pass because my wife likes The Rock. I'm like, I'm not following The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> His name's The Rock. Yo, facts. He's fucking six five, swole. <laughs> He's Andy, not. He's Andy, six two. Six two. They still, list him at six five. Still though. taller than me though. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking five nine, and he's swole and fit. That means he's going hard. You know what I'm yep. saying? This thing ain't gonna be out of breath till like fucking hour in. Fuck that. I'm not following yeah. The Rock. That's funny. Like certain niggas have gotten moved from the list, like. uh 50 Cent got removed from the list. You know what I'm saying? Because he got fat? Well, nah, because of his beef with his son. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she didn't like, like I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he ever really got fat. Yo. He just got older. He's got older and he's still swole. Can, yeah. and, then, and then she did do an edit low key and she didn't think I peeped it. You know what I'm saying? Because she removed the nigga before. I was like, when did you add this nigga? Was fucking uh, Batista. You know what I'm saying? Oh, sure. She saw Batista on on the Bear Grill shit. Yeah. And she was like, oh, he's kind of a bitch. She was yeah. like, yeah, I was. he kind of lost it for me. I was like, but when did he have it? Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> what saying? Was this? Exactly. I didn't she know like, Batista was on the list. like big steroids. <laughs> that guy's 6'5". Right. She like big fucking, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. And like 50s on the list, Morse chest. The only nigga that's like, all right, is like is Ice Cube. <laughs> that's the only cute. like average nigga that's on yeah. the fucking list that I'm like okay that's you know funny. what I'm saying Q. yo you know what I mean you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah hers are all like like artsy nerdy kind of yeah you like know what he's saying? mysterious yeah and and dark fucking that's low that's me low key you know I'm what I'm saying like, I'm in huh. the fucking co- oh you saying your wife's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, oh, I got you this, Johnny yeah. Depp so that type of like yeah. oh he's he has Dark thoughts. And yeah, I got you. I got you. It's like dope. He doesn't know how to throw a dick. That's perfect. That like, like all those exactly. dudes. Exactly. She be picking all these niggas that are like, yo, they're going to fucking take you to pound town, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like like steel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what you what know do you what like mean? about him? Just that his dick. Yo, That's pretty much You know it. what I'm saying? <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. I'm not following these niggas. You know what I'm saying? All these fit ass niggas. You know what I mean? Yeah. So fucking, because like she, we had an that argument. That made you want to get in the gym, though. Facts, facts. That's my that's my whole joke. It's motivating, cause we had an argument one time, and she was like, "Fucking, uh, well, look at your list. You're, I mean, you, they don't none of them look like me." Blah 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 blah. I was like, mm-hmm. "No, but I got a I got a type. I got like the big eyes, forehead. You know what I'm saying? If, you're, if your list had, oh all, yeah. What do you what about the forehead? Be small. Got, no, I got to have a big forehead. Yo, really? Every, I'm, I'm a big forehead. Every guy pretty myself. woman has a big forehead. Tyra, really? Tyra Banks. Yeah. Pull pull up Anna Armas. I bet you money forehead. I don't think she has a big forehead. Watch. Uh, who is that one? Tyra Banks. Tiffany Amber Thiessen, forehead. It's not a big forehead, is it? No, it's, oh. I, we're talking about like Tyra. No, you're talking about like Tyra Banks. Or Megan forehead. Good. You know what I'm saying? Brandy. Brandy. You know what I'm saying? 
You're not talking about. Oh, like she that. got the bangs hanging though. Let me see. J Lo forehead. Do you know what I'm saying? Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett's all forehead. All forehead, yeah. <laughs> Especially now. <laughs> and her arms. Look at their forehead. Is that a normal forehead? No, that's a big forehead. Hmm. Hairline got to oh. be pushed back. When you see a woman with a low hairline, it's like, hmm, something masculine about that bitch. But then you just edge it out for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like this. All pretty women uh, have big foreheads. Yeah, right there. Oh, you see it? Big forehead. Yeah, my bad. Look. It's a, it's a fact. Or is it the way her hair is? No, big forehead. <laughs> she got a big forehead. She used to date uh, Ben Affleck? Yep. She's going to play, uh, Ma- uh, not Madonna, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, that's gonna yeah they be picked, uh, uh, supposedly Madonna picked. Uh, She's not even white. Old girl from Ozark to play her. She just learned English uh, on her first movie. How's she going to play Marilyn Monroe? War Dogs. She ain't white. She just learned English. She. This is the movie she learned. Cause they they figured it out because she they changed the lines and she couldn't say them. Uh, and they're like, why can't? And then they found out mid movie she doesn't speak English. Oh, she just learned how <laughs> to say those lines yeah, in English. Got exactly. You. So they put her through like a uh, intense. Uh, and it's weird because you watch her speak in English, mm-hmm. and then she switches Spanish. A different person. Yeah. She's a completely different person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh shit. And it's weird. But apparently, when you switch languages like that. You, your personality changes. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Fucking, um, yeah. But that was my whole topic. We got off track, but. Shit. Well, what shows you guys got coming up? I ain't got shit coming up. I got. Bobby? I got work Tuesday through Saturday. <laughs> Catch me at. <laughs> I'm fucking around. <laughs> I'll tell you what, job, what store I work at. That saddens me. Why? Because I talk about you all the time. I, I mean, like, yeah, don't get it twisted. I'm nice, right? I'm nice than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to tell me. We know if Blair, you know. we just haven't seen him. Yo, facts. You know what I'm saying? That's a you lot of niggas. You, you built up a lot of uh, fan base. You know, people was fucking with you in the city, you know, because you were starting to, you, at one point you was doing a lot. Oh, yeah, I was doing a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't want them to forget about you. I mean, fuck it. They weren't doing enough. I think I wasn't able to fucking not work. <laughs> nah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you could have. I don't think so. I think so. I don't. I wasn't good enough where I could just not have a job and do stand up. I'm saying you was getting there. Yeah, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The pandemic fucked up a lot of shit for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put a lot of refocus and. You don't have a desire to do an open mic. Nah, not wasting my time. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I got a job to go and, to. And I'm talking shit. I don't. No, nah, I, I don't do open mics. I got a fucking. I'm at the fucking club. You know um, what I'm saying? But I would if I really like, man, I really want to get this out. You know what I'm saying? And you probably got a bunch of stuff. I do have a lot of shit that I want to work on. I just wrote one yesterday. That was the one I was talking about earlier about getting 40 and I want to fight. Mm. You need to throw that, uh, you've had, you know, I don't know how you would premise it, but the the roommate, like you've always had a roommate. Oh, facts. That's funny. Yeah, I need to write that down right now. Uh, Where are you going to be at, Bobby? So we're coming up to our one-year anniversary, uh, Labor Day weekend, and we're celebrating by bringing Daphne Springs to Upstage Comedy Lounge. Uh, I'm really excited about that. I'm I'm thinking she's on the cusp of really popping. You know, I, I can see her being like an Angela Johnson in the future. Oh, word. Yeah, have you seen Daphne Springs? It sounds familiar. Yeah, she's kind of popping on social media right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I got, uh, I don't know how y'all feel about it, the first winner of Last Comic Standing, that fan, the following week. Mm-hmm. Um, Bringing him, I would have a problem with that. Yeah, huh? I don't know how people because he don't put a lot a lot of stuff out. So I don't know, you know, he might be popping regional, but I don't know how San Antonio feels about that fan. I'm still sure he'd been on TV and shit. He would get a little crowd. You know, you gotta watch what you say. You're a club owner now, Facts. dude. I don't know about this comic. I'm about to book right now. <laughs> they might be total shit. <laughs> God dang, Bobby. No, no. So I don't deny that he's the beast. Yeah. But I'm like, uh, San, San Antonio is different than any other place. True. Austin, it might be a lot easier. Mm-hmm. Dallas, Houston. But San Antonio ain't hip to like, oh, who's that? Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, we're not really that hip. But it, we are but we aren't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a niche. You know what I'm saying? It ain't uh, like Austin. Nah. Where they like comedy is a big thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it don't even matter who the comic is. Yeah, Austin. they'll just go. They, I'm going to the club. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, I think it yeah. comes to the quality. It's because we got all these open mic niggas thinking they the shit. Oh, they fucking you know the saying? game up. They fucking the game up. Skipping steps. Mm-hmm. 
And name. that's and that's a regulation that used to happen. Well, it's 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 a bunch of comics cultivating really cool shows. So mm-hmm. a lot of them been doing their shows there like four, five, some ten years. Yeah. So they build their own audience. So it doesn't matter what comics you bring. It's just oh, we're going to this show. Yeah. You know exactly. What I mean? So that's that that that's why. And here, uh, there's very few. I mean, social media allows you to make yourself look way bigger than what you are. That too. Every fucking True. comedian has an upcoming shows, you know, upcoming shows. Yeah, yeah. And, it'd be o- and it'd be open mic. Blind. But what are yeah. they supposed to do, not promote themselves? Yeah, and it'd be open mic and shit. Do you think every damn, like, it's like that's a goal. Like, I can't wait to get my upcoming shows thing up. Or that, that's that's like a, it's almost a necessity now. Like It is a necessity now. You gotta well, look busy. It like, used to be like, you know, somebody that was really working had upcoming not shows. Not even that. A lot of niggas if that were you're a local comic, you don't need to put that shit. A lot of niggas was doing that and they weren't even really working, bro. Back yeah. in the day? Yes. Uh, there was yeah. still a lot of niggas I was doing guilty that. of that. I would have 15 shows yeah. But four were open mics And they're all in San Antonio Everything in everything would say San Antonio Yeah, you know yeah, yeah what exactly I'm And it's the same club And it's just different dates Different that you dates have. Yeah It's you know like you're saying? faking it You're making yourself look like You're on tour And you're just doing an open mic Or Or Or, or you're just letting people know That this you where have, I'm gonna be This is where I'm gonna be And if you okay. wanna come see me Yeah Okay Cause yeah. people are asking so Yeah I think it's a difference I think And I just never did that Cause I I, I didn't wanna have the I got fucking 15 dates, but they're all... San Antonio. Yeah. River Center, LOL, River Center, LOL, yeah, yeah, River yeah. Center, LOL. Right. Fucking <laughs> so-and-so's restaurant, so-and-so, you know what I mean? That's what, okay. That was always... But all in San Antonio, San Antonio, San Antonio, San Antonio. I wasn't going nowhere. Yeah. I was a local nigga, you know what I'm saying? And it depends also if you're producing the shows yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you have a bunch of shows that you're producing yourself, you're going to promote them. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I'm not mad at the, the promotion. I'm mad at the skill. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. That's what I think is happening. It's the skill level. And there's there's no gatekeepers, you know what I'm saying, in San Antonio comedy. And so these niggas who are okay are getting on and doing a lot of the shit. And then people go to the show and they're like, eh, that was all right. You know what I'm saying? But, but I might not go back. But but all even if you'd been doing, let's say, stand-up comedy for three years before the pandemic. Mm. After the pandemic, it's like starting over for a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, I, f- I felt like I had to knock off a bunch of rust. Yeah, So I can't imagine you're two years in, yeah. one year in, and then the pandemic happens. Yeah. It's starting over again. So basically, you have, there's a lot of, what, one-year comics in comics, right, yeah, now right now because they had to restart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they might have started in 2018, 2020 came, fucking hit all that shit to the road. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, and they, 2021 is finally Fuck, when they yeah. started kind of. Kind of coming back out in yeah. 2022. That's like, okay, you've been doing it a year. You know what yep. I'm saying? The bottom line is, mm-hmm. what's going to motivate you again? What's going to make you feel like the early days of, you know, creating a joke and getting, you know, getting that fulfillment and getting back to, like, man, I want to do every mic I can now because I got all this shit. Like, because I saw that happened to Kleto. Mm-hmm. You no, know, Kleto was kind of out the game for a minute. Yeah. And then now all of a sudden, Kleto's hitting every open mic because he has all this material that had built up. Mm hmm. His wife really pushed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you have a le- a near death experience, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna want to go out there and I want to do what I love. Yep. The that, bag that, that can happen to you again. You can almost die and then yeah, <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for thanks for wishing that on your boy. No, you no, know what I'm saying? Not, not, not like, hey, nigga, I need you to almost die so you can get back in this game, dog. <laughs> no, that's not what. So if you could like though. stop drinking that water you was talking about, hey, it. let's let's go get some sodas. After <laughs> that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's not what happened. To so say, hey, do me a favor, stand in front of my car, check me out real quick. I just want to see does it rev up right. <laughs> <laughs> I think Cleto realized like that it, he might have saw an end. You know, he's like, damn, yeah. you know, these other comics are coming up. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of hard to let it go. Like he knows, you know, all the shit, all his accomplishments. I feel you. And so do I. I know my, what I did and what I could do. You know what I'm saying? Balance. I'm saying, yeah. what, so what's going to give you that, that spark I do. again? I need to find that balance. I just, I don't know, man. It's got to be the bag, bro. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It got to make sense. It gotta, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. Cause I fucking you know that's the worst. That's what yeah. fucked me up with comedy is now when I, I realized shit. <laughs> you know, it's about this is a business. It's a business. You know what I'm so saying? It and, made me not like it as much. And I don't and I don't do well in the business part of it. I just mm-hmm. want to show up and do my shit. You know what I'm saying? But I need to be able to fucking promote and do. You know, and I got to be a play worse game. Now, now it's all self promotion. Yeah, and I ain't got the time for that. I feel you know it. what I'm saying? I got a full time job. I got a wife to fuck. You know what I'm saying? I got kids to feed. I ain't got time for that but shit. But you got the bread to hire somebody to do all of that. Like you, you can like now it's easy to find like a social media person. 
All your marketing, but then they're not going to be. PR. They're not going to be me though. They're, it's going to be. They're going to be posting shit, and they're not going to be posting shit that I would post. You know what I'm saying? You'll have followers. You'll have people just coming to your show to see you. I mean, big facts. You know what I'm saying? Just make clips of this. Yeah. Make clips of this because mm-hmm. people want to see your the, your content. Yeah, they see your content. And they see your funny just talking. If yeah. they see your funny just talking, they'll want to go see your. They want to see your shit. And yeah. you have somebody else to cut it up for you. But, facts. Uh, you have the money to do that now. Is what I'm saying. I do. I got a little bread. I can hold you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You're in position. Doing all right. You know what I'm saying? If you want to. But I keep my kids spoiled, though. Go on Fiverr. Go on Fiverr. On Fiverr or Fiber? Fiverr. Uh-huh. F-I-V-E-R-R. Mm-hmm. And you can hire some kid in India to do a bunch of clips for like 30 bucks. Yo, word? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I guess my problem is I don't see a lot. Like, I feel like it was a point where everybody was almost almost good. You had your Lafarge, you had your Georges, yeah. you had your Raouls, mm-hmm. you had your Cavazas. I don't see that no more. Nah, you we're don't all, see that. What are you these about? Niggas, I'm these just niggas, saying, like, you don't get that group of a bunch of funny Because these niggas ain't stuff. that nigga, dog. I'm just saying, the new, the new dudes he's are not the, at that level. He's saying the new dudes are to our caliber. They're not that level. Oh. Like, so he's saying you used to see groups like that come in. Like everybody hitting. And well, you would have those. Here's and you the would difference. get four or five comics out of that group. Because we all were extremely competitive. We would... We would clap people off stage. Facts. We, we would give like them the that. light early. Yeah. We made. We were brutal with each yeah, other. Yeah. Exactly. And you can't it do that. They now. don't have it that. It sucked when you was in it, but it sucked when you're nah, in it. No, but it makes you better though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? In hindsight. You know what I mean? Because it makes you. Oh, you gave me the light early. Watch this, nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm that nigga. You know, y'all gonna be y'all gonna try to give me the light early because I'm about to fucking ruin the show for the rest of y'all because yeah. you can't follow this shit. You know what I'm saying? And they don't have that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But you know it's, what I mean? it's still it's. Yeah, it's different now, man. It's they still, don't have that. It's still very. They want to be supportive and competitive. You know no, what I'm saying? No, it's still clicks. It's still they still let each but other. But the coach. click is fine. But I'm competitive in my click. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Kabaz is my boy. Yeah. But if I murder in front of him, when I walk past him, I'm not gonna go. Hey, man, have a good set. <laughs> <laughs> I would look at him and go, ooh, ooh. you got to follow that? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Ooh, you ready, dog? <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's fucked up to do to somebody before they're about to go up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's how we were, though. That shit made you better. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I mean? I guess that's what it is. Or I don't know if it's harder to, com- like, so much comedy that's happened, it's harder to be funny these days. I don't think so, bro. Because I guarantee you, one of these niggas that's fucking... Outside of my group. It's really San Antonio. Everybody I, took a long break. So it's going to take a while <laughs> to get back in. Yeah. Uh, back in. Because I had got to a groove where I wasn't having to do open mic and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I was getting enough like little shows, shows. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now that's changed. Because I went to New York. And then coming back from New York, the pandemic hit. So I was. it's really like I was gone fucking three years. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I had like a three-year pandemic according to the city. You know what I mean? But fucking... Yeah. A lot of these niggas, dog, I'm like, they couldn't fucking... All right, and, and, I, and I'll backtrack a little bit. Yeah. There are some comedians that are coming up. You can see the improvement. I, I'll give them that. Yeah, but they couldn't fuck with me, though. With, <laughs> with, with no break. You know what I'm yeah. saying? With no regular doing shit. I mean, these niggas could go and do a show every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? And you get them 20, you give me 20, I'm fucking murdering that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a handful of new ones that's, that's doing all right. Nah, I ain't seen none of these new like, niggas I like. I can name it. I, I like some of them personally, but I don't like their fucking material. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas can't fuck with me. Fuck. I was like, uh, Patrick Christopher, he, um, I feel like he's coming up. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Christopher is You want some niggas to broadcast yeah, yeah, yeah. books? <laughs> <laughs> he, co- he coming up, but I, I don't know if I can trust him consistently. Yeah. To do like a long chunk of time. Yo. Mm-hmm. Damn, we just put everybody's fucking shit out there, Bobby. <laughs> Uh, who else? Who else? Keep it going. Uh, I like. Yeah. I like asshole. I'm not editing uh, it. I'm not. I'm not gonna you know edit. What I'm saying. It. Uh, I think Tory Pool is one of them. Who? No, I'm nah. fucking around. I fuck with Tory. I'm fucking with you. Yeah. I'm fucking with you, Tory. I'm only on stage. I ain't talking about nothing else. I yeah. feel like uh, she's trustworthy. Oh, yeah. Why would you say that like that? What the no, because it'd be a lot of shit talk. A lot of <laughs> only on only stage. I'm only talking about right. Off stage, no, because I say there's a fuck lot of shit. exactly. I don't fuck with her, but on stage she getting good, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's not what I'm saying. No, I'm but saying there's a lot stage, of stage. Don't tell her your personal business. You ain't been around, somebody, so you don't know. I, I don't. I'm fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of drama. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It was yeah. always drama in comedy. You gotta man. be above that, dude. You're you the, do. You're the so owner. I can Facts. only judge what's on stage. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't you. care about anything that's happened to somebody off. Or All whatever. the mess. Don't get in the mess. 
And yeah. I, Jeff I, never cared about the mess. You know, know what I'm saying? I'm gonna name one more. Go. The new cats. Um that's killing it. Chris Breckle. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, Breckle's great. nice. And Breckle is cool. Yeah. All all around. And Breckle's one of them dudes, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Breckle, Tori, I don't really know. Okay. Tori kind of came around as like I was going to New York. You know what I'm saying? I was about to leave type okay. shit. So I don't really know Tori like that. I've seen her. Don't get a twist. I see her. I speak. But I Breckle. See her, I, speak. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I know who she is. And I say, hey, what's up, Tori? You know what I mean? I speak to her a lot. Yada, 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 yada. But Breckle, I feel like, is on the cusp of like. They're, he's doing great in Austin. Yo, and he's like on the cusp of like our class. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm-hmm. Breckle got a little bit of the abuse. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, oh, we're he mean. came around that early? Yeah. Well, well also, we're mean to each other, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. We were Breckle's, actually talking. Oh, man, I felt so Like bad. Chavaria, you know what I'm saying? Them type of dudes. He was around with those guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I got you. And so Breckle got a little bit of the fucking like, you know what I mean? You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? He got a little bit of that culture. Yeah. So he's got, in. he's had to like, Got that tough skin and like, okay, I, I hang out with a lot of killers. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. you hang with the killers, dog, you got to fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And he you, works on his shit. Yo, work on your set. That's what's up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was three names I dropped this episode. Yo, the first nigga, who? I don't know who he is. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Patrick. Yeah, he, I mean, he's the newer one. Yeah. He's only been doing it for, what, I know the last two. About dog. three or four. You know what I'm saying? He's doing good, really good. Yeah, he, he's found his voice and. Yeah. I mean, uh, I even give Brandon Potts a little. I didn't say no as much. I had this nigga fucking come oh, to my Brandon store. Brandon Potts, yeah. Who that? Some uh, some nigga. I can't, comic? He said he was a comic. Oh. But he was the corniest nigga I've ever met in my life. What is his name? What's his name? I can't tell you his uh, name. You know what I'm saying? He got to. Nah. Nigga, I, I just I dropped all names. I'll tell you off air. You know what I'm saying? Please. Because uh, he came, I already know who he's talking about. I already know. You might not. I don't know. He came in the store. Is he tall? Yeah. Super tall? Uh, Long hair? Nah, 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 nah. Banging a black chick? No, I'm joking. Stupid. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah. Nah, he was, uh, came in the store, and he's giving me all this bullshit. Like, he don't even know who oh, I am. Jeremy Brown, too. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And he's talking to me, and he's, like, giving me bullshit-ass jokes. And, like, uh, how many windows are in New York? And I'm like, I don't know, man. He's like, no, 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 I'm asking. I just don't know. And I know you're talking about. And giving me the fucking weird Yeah, the way he did the voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The white guy voice. I'm like, all right, I know you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And then I found out later he was talking about, yeah, I try to work out on some some of my own stand up. And I was like, oh, really? I'm listening to him. And I'm I'm like, uh, I asked him, fuck, what did he tell me one of his jokes was? I can't even fucking remember. But then I I tell him, oh, well, that's what I do. I'm a, I, outside of work. I'm, I do stand up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been doing it for like 12 years, blah, blah, blah. Really? You know what I'm saying? Because I said, well, where do you go? He's like, oh, I do. I do a lot of LOL, blah, blah, blah. And so then I shot a little slug. I was like, oh, you go to open mic and stuff? He said, oh, yeah, I'm in the world a lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I really want to know who this but is. I'll, I'll tell you off here. Only reason I won't say it because like, I was at work. You okay, know what I I'm saying? You. And fucking, you know what I mean? And occasionally I do say where I work on here. You know what I mean? And I don't yeah. want that to fucking ever come back to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. So, yeah, but I'll tell you off here. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, Jeremy Brown's another one that's doing real good. Who? Jeremy. <laughs> you know Jeremy Brown, though. No? I think you would like Jeremy Brown. Do I? He's a white guy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sounds for me. And then, yeah, Jeremy Jonas is in there. I guess there's a few. I take that back. I mean, I guess I just don't see them all collectively together. Yeah. So. It's not like how we used to do it where you had Midnight Show and you could see, like, oh, okay, these are the niggas coming up. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess that's the difference. And then who's going to be here in six months? You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. so many niggas that were like nice and then they're just gone. Are right, we rambling now? Let's get yeah, out of yeah. here. I got to pee again. Okay. Uh. Fucking small bladder ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? I've been All right, y'all. Something for the people bottles. podcast. We out of here. Blair Tops at 11. Shh, peace. Bye. Right. We did the mic already? Yeah. A little something, something.